Hello, so welcome to another vlog. We've realised we've actually got a bit more left of the Christmas nitty gritty than we thought. Obviously in the last vlog you saw, we thought we got about 80-90% of the Christmas shopping done. But as the days have passed, we've remembered a few people that we haven't ticked off the list. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, obviously. So we've got a bit more to do and it's also my mum's birthday on the 19th. And I don't like to do that thing where you get them a joint birthday and Christmas present because it doesn't seem fair that she misses out. So we've got to get her a birthday present as well while we're in town. Now, I'm part of the Messenger Holiday Squad. So while I'm out and about trying to demolish the to-do list, I'm going to use Messenger just to show you how it can be real good aid during the festive period. Just make things a bit less stressful chaotic getting Christmas ideas helping you decide what to buy all that sort of stuff but I'll show you more when we're out and about my family put up the tree fairly late because my parents aren't really into Christmas so it takes me a little bit of time to feel festive but anyway I wanted to show you the tree because we have terrifying Santas I don't know about you but I find them pretty scary nightmarish to be honest we've got clowns as well why would we do this we all know what clowns can do Yes, du, du, du. we have tinsel. I know this is very much frowned upon within the blogger community, but we are old school in the Eggleton house. This is probably the coolest decoration we have, and that's a little robot. But as robots are apparently going to take over the world, maybe that's a terrifying one as well. I don't know. Of course, I'm waiting for Simon to get ready. What's new? I would say he's coming to help, but I don't know if that is factually correct. He doesn't really contribute much to the actual shopping process, shall we say. But he is essentially the driver, the chauffeur. And maybe, is he the support system while I do the shopping? Not very good at that either. Uh, but hopefully he'll contribute some money to some of the presents that we're getting. Hopefully you will have seen on my Instagram, but I got some cards made, including um, this Christmas one and I've had a sale so I'm going to send that off and I'm going to use my cards to send to my family as well and I've got a couple that I've forgotten to do so I'm going to send them off today probably a bit late now sorry family um, to the blank inside and it's just one of my ink paintings there I'm also sending this print that was ordered as well so these should be with you all very soon people thanks for your patience if you've left it too late to send Christmas cards that will arrive in time, then you can easily use Messenger to wish people well. Perhaps send them a song with lyrics that say all you want to say. You could send them a festive picture to wish them a Merry Christmas. Making it look as jazzy as possible by clicking any of the icons in the top right corner and scrolling through the options. You can also keep your whole social circle updated on your festive goings on through updating your stories, ensuring you're decorating all of your pictures and videos using some of the 5,000 frames, effects and stickers. I think a lot of couples do this. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was belting that one out. So I was belting out. Belting he's a horrible out. boy. He's a horrible boy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and the doorbell goes, and it's the postman going, well, that was lovely. <laughs> do you feel hot with embarrassment yeah. now? So oh. late at the old postman. <laughs> he seemed to enjoy it to be there. Oh, he loved it. And he had a nice Christmas hat on, so... Festive spirit is happening, it's rife in this household. <laughs> I properly belted that one out, that one. Really loud. Are you on the Naughty Boys list now? Yeah. <laughs> right, we've got a little bit of a journey before we get to the shopping centre. So, I'm going to go into Messenger, find Simon, oh there he is. Albums, hmm. Xmas classics, yes, that's what we want. Send to Simon, yes. So I can tell you this while Simon's doing the petrol, so the Christmas playlist didn't go down too well. So we've had to resort to one of his favorites, and that is Michael Jackson. If I need to ease him into a nicer, more relaxed mood, this usually does the trick. 
But if you have festive friends, that is a great way to send them a festive playlist. It's also really good if you've got a, a festive party. You can send the organiser loads of playlists so they don't have to faff about what song to play next when they're trying to do all their hosting duties. So that's good as well. Don't tell him I told you he's a Grinch either. Please don't tell him, I'll be in trouble. If things are getting a bit stressful or tense like they have been here, head to the Meditate bot to switch off for a bit. By starting a conversation or by pressing that little meditate icon, it leads you to the Calm app, which offers you a number of meditation choices specific to your current need or difficulty. It can also offer uplifting and inspiring quotes so that positive messages come to your phone throughout the day and lift your potentially flagging spirit. If the Meditate bot isn't soothing enough and fleeing the country is the only solution, why not get in touch with the staff at Skyscanner via the bot? They'll be able to tell you what deals are available for January flights. So we're trying to decide what to get Sai's mum. She's given us an idea of a Dan Brown book, um, so that's easy, but it doesn't feel quite substantial enough. So we're trying to think what else we could do. And we're thinking something of like the fashion or shoes or clothes variety, but we're not sure of her know. sizes. Oh, it's a Greyhound meetup. <laughs> That's nice. Um, so I think I'm going to send her a, a message on Messenger. Go oh, there. She is. Last Xmas shopping trip today. Oh, now you're up for the Christmas classics. <laughs> Remind you of Home Alone? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. This is the one he's like dancing in the living room. Yeah. And he's pulling the strings. Exactly. It's so classic. I don't know the lyrics, apparently. I'll just know how to come to it. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices. <laughs> Christmas cars and Christmas orders posted. This is the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Get there safely and fast. My favourite. <laughs> you know I love this store. <laughs> I love this mug. That's pretty. <laughs> Think your mum would like that? Mm. Well, she's got loads of mugs. So it's not the kind of thing that like Sarah probably prefer because she's got a house to get up and stuff like that. Okay. Whereas mum, you know your mum's got too many things. <laughs> okay, so maybe your sister then. Maybe, yeah. Guys, so you might remember from last year's Christmas vlogs that I was obsessed with these anthropology candles. I wanted both the oatmeal cookie and angel food and I ended up getting neither so help me decide which one to get I love them both oh god <laughs> no not for me talking of making decisions if you enjoy picking a side you might enjoy the swelly bot your new decision buddy you can help a worldwide community by simply submitting a vote just a bit of fun We knew we wanted to get some candles. We're candles obsessed, to be honest. But they always go down really well. So before finding these bargains in anthropology, we used the M&S bot to see what amazing candles they had in store, which we could then order really easily straight from our phones. Where's the music coming from? I knew Sai wanted vans for Christmas, but I wanted to keep an element of surprise by choosing the colourway in secret, so we went our separate ways for a bit. Annoyingly, a lot of the stores had sold out of his size 8s, 
so I used the ASOS bot to try and find out what they had available instead. Mission accomplished. Yes, they got size 8s. Also, if you want to unsubtly hint what you'd like to receive this Christmas, you can share responses you get from bots like ASOS by forwarding to other contacts who might be looking to buy you a gift. If you have separated during that shopping trip to get each other that surprise gift, you may want to reunite again to refuel at a lunch spot. Press the blue plus sign, then click that arrow in the location button blue circle. You can share a live location for an hour if you're not bothered about privacy or press the pin and scroll till you find the exact location, Franco Manco in this instance, then press send. T tell them. I'm very hungry right now. And who are you taking it out on? <laughs> well, how, how's your lemonade? Very nice. That is really, really good. It tastes like, um, it tastes like those kind of like, um, so we're back from the shops now it's pitch black we're shattered size so already napping next door but i'll show you what we got or well, some of it anyway although okay friends or family or people are spending christmas with stop watching this video from now on okay because you don't want to ruin the surprise so for size mum we were hoping we'd be able to save some money and actually get to some converse in the kids or junior section but she just misses out on being in that category she's a size three which is still weenie but not weenie enough but anyway we got her classic converse she's like we said earlier she's a stylish woman she's already got some white converse and we thought everyone needs a black pair too so hopefully she'll like those we also got her the latest Dan Brown book, Digital Fortress. She also likes all the Fifty Shades books, but Sai always feels a bit weird even talking or thinking about his mum reading those books. So we went for this one instead, which is another one which was on her list. For my mum, I got her this lovely classic scarf from Topshop. I'm scared she's... Oh, did you hear my tummy then? I'm scared she's going to hear me. But also got her a selection of number seven face creams, which are her favourite as well, and they're from Boots. We're going to put these sweets in the mugs from anthropology but it's all wrapped up so i want to keep that looking nice i think we're a bit poop so i think we're going to do some wrapping tomorrow so i'll catch up with you tomorrow where the christmas shenanigans will continue so oh thank god that's over with but for those that have energy for a social life before a big party you may want to have a trial run of your makeup look particularly if it's a bit more out there than your normal everyday look If so, you can send a selfie to your beauty expert pal, Ollie in my case, and await a verdict. They could reply with a simple message, or they could draw and annotate your selfie and send it back to you. If it's a particularly reassuring reply, you might want to save it to your camera roll. A group chat is a great way to chat about plans, decide who's bringing what, and discuss outfit ideas. I called upon my girls to help me pick a dress for our upcoming get together by sending pictures of the options and annotating them where necessary to maybe help guide their decision a little bit. If you don't have any outfit pictures in your camera roll, you can take a selfie there and then of you in the outfit, or even take a video clip of the ensemble you have on make it a bit more fun by choosing one of the silly filters too. Who doesn't love the animal ones? Hi guys, it's Sunday and we thought we'd take a little break from the Christmas to-do list to come for a little festive walk at one of our favourite spots which is Virginia Water. It's very chilly. I look like I've stepped out of the 90s. Why are you whispering? 
Because there's people jogging. <laughs> they think I'm I weird. can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Speak up. So, uh, yeah, so I look a bit, I don't know if I'm trying to be Kirk Cobain. I don't know what's going on. Jerry Valliwell. Yeah. But, exactly that girl no. power. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're taking a little break to get all wrapped up warm, feel festive before we tackle the wrapping. How are you going to help me with the wrapping, Simon? Uh... Yeah, I'll give it a go. Okay, that pause makes me feel not very confident well, that you're going to be a good assistant. I think it's because I, I don't mind wrapping like you know you know the boxes anything with like a like a like a like an edge it's fine but if you're like wrapping something that's circular or like a bottle I find it really hard. Yeah, difficult because you end shapes. up like like. You know, going like that. A bit crunching yeah. going on. A bit of crunching. I'd like to remind you of one of my birthdays where he gave me a big box which was wrapped up <clears> with a black bin liner and ele I don't remember electric that. tape. Electric tape? <laughs> yeah, just like. <sighs> what was it? Do you remember what it was? I think what was inside was great, but the wrapping leaves a little to be desired. It was so bad I remember putting it on Instagram, I think, and everyone laughed. Really? Look, guys, I found some mistletoe. So, do you want a kiss? Si? Please? Found, he's found a log to have fun in instead. <laughs> what have you found there, kiddo? You're going to peek through. There he is. <laughs> you come around here. Look, look, look out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, let's get in the pub. We're getting very soggy. If you've escaped to a pub for shelter or to dry out like I had, you may want some mates to meet you for a festive tipple. Use the location tool again to let them know where you are. Perhaps you could send them a picture to entice them to come. Oh, someone's very relaxed, aren't they? Oh, don't give me those puppy eyes. <laughs> You're a Christmas miracle, aren't you? A huge thank you for watching this very festive vlog. Hope I've shown you how you can use Messenger to message or video chat with friends near and far over the Christmas period and how you can make those experiences even more fun with all the possibilities to add festive features to pictures and videos. Hopefully I've also shown you ways that could help make shopping the January sales more successful and less stressful. One final point, if like me you have a family that refuses to play board games, warn them that there's plenty of games you can play on the phone via messenger, so if they want us to put our phones down, they know what they've got to do. As always, please do leave me a comment and perhaps let me know what you use messenger for the most. Merry Christmas guys, lots of love from me and him.